Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you how to find XSS by URL encoding bypass. Let's get into it. First, let's look at the website interface. We can see there's a search bar. Let's try searching something to see if we get any text reflection. As you can see, when I type test, it reflected on the page. Now, let's try a simple HTML injection payload that I always use to test for HTML injection. As you can see, the word test converted into italic style, which means HTML injection is working on the website. Let's try some more HTML tags to confirm if other tags are also supported or not. As you can see, the input got filtered. Now, let me try starting with the word coffin to inspect how the entire payload looks in the source code. As you can see, coffin is reflecting on the page. Now, let's check the source code to see how the payload appears there. You'll notice it's reflected with URL encoding. Next, let's try some URL encoding payloads. For that, I personally use my favorite Dencode encoder and decoder, which has lots of encoding and decoding options, great for WAF bypass. Now, let's see if an HTML payload reflects with color or not. As you can see, the HTML payload is displaying in red, indicating that HTML injection is working. Now, let's try some XSS payload. It gets filtered out again, so let's try using URL encoding to see if it works. As you can see, we got an XSS cookie pop-up. So, we successfully bypassed the XSS filter using simple URL encoding. Now, let's try iframe injection using URL encoding to see if that works as well. As you can see, the site is framed in full screen by another website, indicating that iframe injection is also working. Isn't that cool? Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos with more advanced bypass techniques and content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.